Bonjour, bonsoir, dear friends. This is JCB Live. And I'm in Yonville at Atelier Fine Foods with the famous... Doing our thing, James Ayers. James Ayers. Woo! The man behind every cheese and every piece of charcuterie. So today... Thank you. Thank you so much. Today we're going to show you how we create an amazing plate what cheese, what pâté, what to bring to the table when you have friends coming over. Or just two people, lovers, you could do that too. In Ooh. fact, we're making a tray for two people, lovers, and a special concoction too, with a little foie, a little membrillo, and triple creme. It's the best, especially with bubbles, you're gonna start out with that. <laughs> so we have that, and then we're gonna do our beautiful charcuterie and cheese, uh, and just today, the weird thing is, we're doing three meats and four cheeses. Some people like to go three and three, we're doing four and three, so there you go. Well, I'm happy about it. Mm. Dear friends, we're starting again with a great wine, and this is in honor of the most historical winery in California, Chateau Buena Vista, winery that started in 1857 by a visionary, the Count of oh, Buena yes. Vista. He came originally from Europe, had a dream, built a winery a few miles away from here. Over the hill. That became the, the hill. most historical, powerful gravity flow winery in the entire history of California. And we're lucky to have these wines. Because what we're doing today, we have Pinot and we have Chardonnay. So we're just doing a mix. Sometimes you don't want to worry about it. You just want to have great quality products and shut up and eat. So we have a mix of mild, we have nutty and intense, we have creamy and delicious like Jean Charles, and then we also have a nice acidic sheep smoke from Spain that very many people know about. So we have great assortment, plus we have fat, 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 and fat and more fat, and then really a lot of fat. So there you go. Very good for my diet. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, he's, he's actually lost weight. He has lost weight in the crisis. I know that. Because that's what I eat every day. So, you know, it's very healthy. What is exciting as well, two wines from Buena Vista we've selected, Chardonnay Pinot Noir. Same DNA. You know, as you look back at the history of Chardonnay and Pinot, same tree, one became white, Chardonnay, you know, named Pinot Chardonnay up to 1973 as a Viti Vinifera, Pinot Gris, Pinot Blanc, Pinot Noir, Pinot Burro, Pinot Meunier, etc., etc. Oh so the roots is very wide, which makes it very interesting with cheese and charcuterie because what we're having here, even though we're in Sonoma, we have a typical, perfect French get-together. Yeah. Because this is really what my childhood has been about. And always having great ham, great salumi, wonderful pate, a glass of wine, and what else? Oh, what else? Great company and discussions. Yes, you have to have that, you have to have that. And so some of the meats that we're doing right now, we have from there, they come from all over the world. So let's we go one by one, one because by one. very important that would go I well with the Chardonnay. Insisted. This is the Pata Negra, so this Hamon Bellota, and this is from the Dehesa in Spain, free range pigs, black footed pigs, and these guys wander all over. They eat acorns, mushrooms. Black acorns. No, the acorns are brown, the pigs are black. Oh, really? Good. Yes, yes. You know, and I was so, just wondering, looking from far away. But any, so, the, this is about from start to finish, from when the the little pig was slaughtered, is four years old. It's delicious. He has a fetish for it. And um, this one, I actually like it with white wine. Mm. I like it because sometimes it's too Dry strong. Try it with a Chardonnay. Red. Yeah, like I said, white wines, Pinot Gris. I've discovered Pata Negra when I was 19 years old for the summer in Spain. So good. Tried it, so good. you know, um, in a bar and I thought it was the most delicious ham because it melts. People think it's yes. fattening, but it's not. It's the intensity of oh, the yeah. aging. 
it's fantastic and with Chardonnay or wine from Galicia in Spain, yes. that's very good too. Mm -hmm. So but generally whites, I like it with whites better. It sometimes mm. is too strong with the red, and we'll know. We haven't really tried it with the Pinot, but we will try it and just go for it. So I want to show you how unbelievable this ham is. Look, James cut it beautifully, very thin, probably one millimeter, and you just serve it like this on a plate, and people just pick. You do not use a fork, at least in Spain. Don't use a fork. Mm. So now, onto our other charcuterie selection. We have another dry ham. This is Bayonne. Jambon Here it is. Bayonne, and this is produced in the Pyrenees, the French Pyrenees, um, south of Bordeaux. It's delicious. We love this. It's not well known. Most people know Prosciutto di Parma, San Daniele, but this is a French creation, and we love it. It's smaller hams. Um, they're, they're like almost half the size of a Prosciutto di Parma, but they have the great sweetness, earthiness, and they're not too salty. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it can be a problematic with having small ham. It's too salty. This is sweet, nutty, intense, like this. Not as aged, but my gosh, it's one of his favorites. Well, he we in France, it. Bayonne is the equivalent of Parma, as you said, or Saint Daniele. Mm -hmm. So the big tradition in the south of France, in the Rhone Valley, is actually to serve it on a watermelon, cantaloupe with a little port or aged wines from the south of France. What about figs? Amazing. Figs, it's great with figs. Mm -hmm. you, you wrap, get a fig, slice it a little, wrap it, grill it. My God, you, you, so it's you called don't even know, it's so good. Jambon de Bayonne. And I think it's very important. I hate to be critical and difficult, but when you see those ham packed, in some supermarkets that are sweating and of different colors. Yes. This is not Oxidized. meant to go to your Oxidized. body. Oxidized. So now the next charcuterie, we have a Milano style. This is actually from Italy. Large, it's sweet, it's not spicy. We Generally we won't pair something spicy with the wines. Um, we just want something that's not neutral, great flavor, but we want it to be flavorful, intense, and see how we can roll it. Get a close-up of me rolling it up because you want to make it look beautiful on the plate. See how we do that? And we just grab one like this? Yeah, it's easy. Mm. And it's not, you don't want everything flat. The world is not flat. I mean, it's mountains and crevasses and such. So this is how we make a tray. The beautiful, so John You're Charles such an beautiful. artist. Yeah, I'm an artist. It's fabulous, yes. it's see, beautiful. Look at that. You do that, it's easy to pick, and people go, my God, can you do classes on this? And that's what we're doing right now. It's a class for people. Well, it's so important, the presentation. You could put oh, yeah. ham flat on the plate, but it doesn't look attractive, and it doesn't taste as good. Remember, we taste with our eyes. Exactly, now that's why Oh, this one. Whew. So this is pork shoulder that's cured, and this would be from Emilia Romagna. And we can do the same thing. We can fold it like that. So what you do is you just fold half half moon and then make a little tulip. See, it's, it's like kitty mm. projects. Or so very it's spicy, nice. huh? There's a little, well, you're from Burgundy. They don't, they're very sensitive to heat. Me, I'm California boy. I love heat. To me, this is wimpy. It's not hot at all. It's very it enjoyable. It complements the wine. Yeah. I would think the pinot would be great with this, but... Well, why don't really you finish your Chardonnay? I know you could do that. It goes very well with the Chardonnay. The meat is smoked slightly. Oh, it's great. You don't get any blood, any iodine, no minerality. It's just great with the wine. So we're going to give a couple folds here. And I love charcuterie with whites. It, you know, it's dry really, whites. It's really, you know, um, this this type of wine is very friendly with charcuterie. Um, even with cheese, uh, Chardonnay is great with cheddar. That's when you get a cheddar. Um, and then this this. Pyrenees. Well, maybe let's try the cheddar as we, we still will, have no, Chardonnay. No no no. no, 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 no. Not yet. We do. We go mild to strong. Okay. 
quit jumping around. But of course. We're going mild to strong. So we have two mild, they're both actually sheep. This one is from the Pyrenees where the Bayonne is Maybe from. we bring that closer so yes. we so can now, really demonstrate. Yes. So anything you put in the middle of that plate or you leave it as such? No, Maybe no, we're gonna put some cheese. Oh, good. Um, so we have this, this is tourmalet, by the way, sheep's milk from the French Pyrenees, uh, produced in the area where the, where the ham, the Bayonne ham is from. I know Jean Charles would love this, but it's a little cylinder, it's really cute, as you can see. Here, manja. So we'll do this. Mm. This is a cool thing you can do with cheeses like this. Build them Very up. enjoyable. Very mild indeed. Mild, yes. Goes so, well with the Chardonnay. But actually, it's a great red wine cheese because at times, cheese that's too strong overwhelms a red wine. White wine is more cheese friendly. Specifically but, the goat. So you, yeah, now this is not goat. Remember, you weren't listening. This is sheep. So it looks like a goat, I mix but my it's goats, not. my sheep. You, you think know. it's butter, but Don't it's not. Don't they all look the same? You think it's butter, but it's not. I cheated yesterday yeah. morning. I came to Atelier and Are I got a piece of it. I was wondering, I thought somebody was here. Mm. So this is sheep's milk. So sheep's milk is higher in fat. Um, than goat or cow. Uh, camel and buffalo are very up there with sheep, but luscious. Where is this one from? This is from a town called Lima in Spain. So it would be west of Valencia, Spain. Okay. Inland, but they produce. Mm. And what's the name so of this one? Caña de Oveja. Caña so de Oveja. Caña means cane, Oveja is sheep. What it's like. I like it with the whites again. The whites is oh, nearly right. too. Oh yeah. It enhances that ripeness and that mm. juiciness. My God, my God, so good. Okay, torn away. We did that. Now let's do this. Oh, where's our triple? Oh, there we go. Sorry. So this may be too strong, don't you think? Maybe with the red wine, no? Just try it. Okay, Lick I'll it. try with the white. Lick it. So tell us what is it? So we, here we have a um, Briat Savaron. This is from his backyard. It's triple crown. And it was developed for little children to get them to eat more milk products. But the adults caught on oh. and they're like, oh my God, this is delicious. And it's like, it's one of the most popular cheeses in America. For so, the, they, people love this. It's like, it was baby food, but now it's for the adults. So dear friends, it's made by my friend Christian Delon and his brother. They've been having this creamery cheese and they are the leading producer in mm. Gilly Lesito, next to Vougeot where I'm from. Whoa. That's where the Bria Savarin is made. Oh. And Bria Savarin, remember, said, tell me what you eat and I'll tell you who you are. We need to go back and try it with the Pinot for sure. Definitely. Let's do that. Do it? Mm-hmm. Well, let's see. Briar Sabahin have written for me the most interesting book named The Physiology of Taste. It's one of those books I've read 15 times, very similar to Principle of Biodynamics by Rudolf Steiner, and I highlight it, or Life of a Yogi. Those are the three books I spent so much time reading because you learned so much about it. When I wrote The Alchemy of the Senses, I was very inspired as well by the physiology of taste of Bria Savarin. And you know, he was an author, an author, a speaker, a political man. Vermont. Unbelievable influence, and I love it with hey. the Chardonnay. It's a no-brainer with Chardonnay. Let's see what it's like with the Pinot. Often in France, we have it on the cheese platter, obviously, with all the Pinot. Mm, works well for me. It pops the fruit. My God, that's what you want. It's, it's not overwhelming. That's right. Well, it, it's terroir, I guess. Because, you know, easier Pinot Noir with cheese than Cabernet. Cabernet oh, is Cabernet a bigger is, challenge. It's, it is a challenge. And actually, with a Cabernet, you would probably want to go with 
the tourmalade. At times, the Flores cheddar, which we're gonna try now, can work, but it, it can be too strong. Generally, it's a white wine cheese. Um, it's a cheddar too, but a lot of people, to a lot of people, that doesn't make sense. But um, here, let's try it with the red. So where is the tourmalade from? The tourmalade is from uh, the Pyrenees. Mm -hmm. Just from the Pyrenees. Uh, it's a Basque cheese, and it's uh, maybe 500 grams, you know, in size. It's very small. I love uh, it myself with pata negra mm -hmm. and tourmalade. Yeah. Combination is amazing. So we are on the boundary, obviously, of France, south of France, the south west of France, and Spain. Yeah, this is really close to Spain. So the wine we, dear friends, having is Sonoma Coast. So it's made at Buena Vista by a fantastic director of winemaking, Brian Maloney. And it's made in open top wood for manor. So we brought those tanks from Burgundy in the historical cellars of Buena Vista. And we let it ferment, similar to cheese, for a long period of time. Here, those fermentation are over 20 days. Conversion of sugar into alcohol, one degree Celsius per day. So very slow, gentle fermentation. And pigeage twice a day, morning, evening, right, to break the cap. And then we let it sit. And then it goes into French oak from the Troncet forest, medium toast, and then very light filtration, no fining, one egg white or two, and here it is in our glass. It's an enormous labor of love to make Pinot Noir because you gotta listen, you gotta pay a lot of attention, and at the same time, laissez faire. Yes. Like great cheese, <laughs> let it be, let it happen. Yes. I'm fanatic about this wine, I think Brian, He's doing an amazing job. Nailed it, yes. Wow, isn't it great it's because... So food friendly, yes. Food friendly, Ooh, not overly next, dominant. Let's do our next concoction. Pate? Yes, so here, this is a special, special little treat. So what we're gonna do, we have three ingredients. We have, like, we would normally use foie gras, but we can't do that in California now, so we're doing just a goose or duck pate. It's a very finely ground, yeah. smooth, it's a mousse. Gorgeous. We have membrillo, which is a cooked quince. This is from Spain. We're gonna lay that right on top of the bread. Wow, you're going we'll rich here. Yeah, Woo! this is good. We'd better, we'd better serve a little more wine. Here, and then we take a triple creme. It could be any triple creme. Uh, we're using Brillat Savaron right now. You see, we we'll do that, and then, little pate. God, this is, yeah, this, this is, is thin. So you have, you have fat, you have salt, and you have sweetness. And um, let her show you this. Amazing. This, this is amazing. This is very nice. I, I love it with uh, uh, champagne. I love it with reds. It's just, now cut it and eat it. Well, oh, we should on. try. I, I cannot it. have it all. We got to share. So now we're trying the pate on its own. So it's a mousse. Explain a mousse. the difference between pate and mousse. Well, the, the pate is generally coarsely ground. They grind the meat, bake it. This one, they will grind the meat fine, and it's always generally made with liver. They'll put add cream to it, and then they will bake it that way. So it's smoother, it's more luxurious, less country style, but we love it with rich, Butter, Briat Savaron, and our creamy cheeses. I think it's, it's a wonderful. good time to talk briefly about my favorite in this world. Oh, butter? Butter. I'm, dear friends, a fanatic of butter. This is Barat butter. So this is the finest of the finest. This is what you find now in all the top restaurants around the world. Three Star Michelin. It is the finest expression of the butter. As you could see, it has that very deep yellow, a little bit of sea salt. It's from Normandy. Mm -hmm. It comes in five kilo containers. And that's the container. Yes. We sound at Atelier, and we're one of the only one. I know Bill Grocery now, the famous butter as well, in its package 
for your home. 250 gram. And I got an order for my daughters today. They said, you'd better bring us butter, Papa. We love it. So this is how in France we have it. Wine, butter, a few olives. So James, tell us about this beautiful preparation of olives here. Um, what do we have? We have Kalamata olives from Greece. Those are the black ones. We have the Nocciolare of the Castle of Toronto. These are from Sicily. And then we just have a larger variety. So those are the green ones. Those are from Sicily. And then we have okra because he loves okra. I'm a fan of okra. Be careful, it's spicy. Oh. I know we're making there you. you have it. We're making you jealous, and we feel very bad about this. But the whole idea is a Mediterranean diet in many ways. A little pate, cheese. We're missing a few tomatoes, but it's not the season yet. It'll come. It'll but this come. table is the dream. Great wine from Buena Vista. It's all about history. It's all about the integrity of the past, the heritage of the best region in the world. And we're talking pate, we're talking quince, butter, and what about those? Hazelnuts. Yes. They grow all over Europe. These ones are from Rome, but Spain, they're all over Europe, and they're almost like a weed. Um, nice, nice little thing is that truffles, black truffles grow in around the hazelnut tree. So, fun fact. And you want to have them with, um, with the charcuterie. Oh, Americans love nuts with charcuterie, so we do it. I mean, I, they, they give you texture. Mm -hmm. You want texture, you want, you want acidity, you want sweetness from the meat, salt, and then you want creaminess from the cheese. It's, everything is encompassed. You want it all. What a beautiful table. So, Here, we break, we break the hard cheese break it into crumble, the natural, natural break. See that? Looks beautiful. See, instead of just square chunks. Yeah. Are you square? No, I'm not square. Never. We have a lot of little things, you know? Edges. <laughs> yes. yes. And we want it that way. We never exactly. want it to be too geometrical. Exactly. I'm a huge fan of that cheese. Well, thank you. Come on. I'm going to go back for pata negra and yes. that cheese. Oh. Yes, so there you have it. That's how we do. This would be a great for lovers right there. Or well, friends, James, friends. let's go for picnic now. Okay. Now we're going to get to eat it. <laughs> Dear friends, it was again a pleasure Woo. to be together. Atelier, you can order everything you wish called James. And more importantly, play with this at home. Yeah. Be Don't curious. Don't take it too serious. That's be the thing. Exactly. Be curious on the cheese, the pate the butter, every ingredient is important. Remember, you own your body. This is your possession. It requires the best of the very best. And this is really why we created this destination in Yonville Atelier, and why we pair it with the best wines, Chateau Buena Vista.